We're on part three of a 27 part series on how to add disc brakes to a rear axle of a Toyota Land Cruiser FJ40. For those of you just joining the Project Wrong Way Nation, my name's Ben. I'm not a mechanic and I struggle with simple and basic mechanical things. I hate the Honda Accord that I drive. I want to replace it with this Land Cruiser as a daily driver. And this is that process. Plus overlanding. I want to overland. He just likes to spend money and this is a pit in which to throw money. <laughs> well, last time we talked, I had a little issue with some things that were floating around inside the differential. Let's take a look. Hmm. What happened? Look at the little... What the hell do you want me to look at? You're look moving a million... Look at the corner. Why is the corner? Are you like dumb? What the hell? Look. Just, just do it. Look at what? This is showing. Oh, who gives a shit, honey? Just move it so it's not showing. <laughs> you sat there the whole time. So just say, this is showing. I'm looking at a million different numbers and trying to read stuff that I don't even know exists. Because <laughs> you're telling me to look at something. So you thought I wanted you to look at that? And I'm yeah, just I thought, you were, here, I like... thought you were wanting me to read the decibels. I'm like... <laughs> that makes sense why you're mad then. Yeah, because what the hell do I know about that stuff? I know. Okay, so these are the bits that came out. I believe that these are pieces of what's called a thrust bearing, this guy here. And the only reason I believe that is because this is very thin metal and there's little holes in them at different spots. But it also got chewed up really bad. So we're gonna need to open up the differential a little bit and find out what make sure there's tip. nothing else yeah, in there. Yeah, make sure nothing else is wrong. Now I called my friend George, my confidant, and I know that George always looks to me for advice <laughs> about Land Cruisers, but George of Valley Hybrids, Cruiser Brothers, the guy's got, if you need parts, look them up. I told him, I said, hey, this is what I've got. My third member is a part, I have the seals, blah, 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 and I get a package in the mail, says, so this is what you need. Prices are good, are you gonna hold that up so and his cool? knowledge is good too. These are the seals for the axles. Mm, you like that? Mm. Get a taste of that. Mm. We're gonna get the shiv that I fashioned. I'm gonna open this guy back up again. It's been a while. I hope nothing looks different than the first time I opened it. Just like Brian Adams said, it feels like the first time. Is that Brian Adams? It's not Journey. Like he says, feels like the first time. That's not how it goes. What was that sound? I don't know. Something fell down. So the thrust washers are supposed supposed to be under these guys. I just see your big hand. Oh, okay. Okay, there's one. Okay, I lifted that well, up. Grandpa said you should take everything out. Oh, jeez. So right. I lifted up one, and there's a thrust washer underneath it. Okay, so we're figuring out if we're missing one, essentially, because that's what would be chewed up. Yeah. This one. Oh, my gosh. This is literally not... Did these come off? Ha, ha. Jeez. Mosquitoes. I feel like, oh, okay, I can just rotate this. Maybe, maybe ooh, that'll fall. Ooh. Into the bottom? Yeah, but it check missing? it out. It's missing its thrust washer. Oh, crap. Now it's down there. <laughs> yeah. Something else that I would typically tell people is to glove up. Um, I forgot again. Man, I keep doing that. Well, you don't want to waste it. The coronavirus you should just get your hands dirty so you can. Yeah, so I can fight the virus. So I just took these smaller cogs out and they. You should get a flashlight to look in there. You know what? I should buy another flashlight. Oh my gosh. For a second. Uh, cranky. What? So these are a bit bigger than the ones. See how thick that metal is compared to this one? Hmm. I wonder if that's a thing. I might ask George about that. A little bit bigger. The ones he gave you are bigger, or the ones that are in there are bigger? So, how do you put the gears back in there? I'm gonna worry about that later. Let's do a little bit of an inspection then. So all the teeth look, look good. And I know, because <laughs> I did the research. I'm just joking. But, man, look how shiny that metal is, honey. Yeah, you don't even have to do anything to it. I don't have to, to polish it. that. I'm surprised you didn't ask about my obscene yellow shirt that you don't like. Oh, this? 
It's not that I don't like it. I just think it's not flattering with your skin tone. Ace Overland. I really like On the Instagram. shirt. On Instagram. I really like the shirt, actually, and I really right. like that color. I just Let's take out another one. I just of these. think that color looks better these on gears. my whiteness than your your color. Okay, this one looks good too. Teeth are all there. <sighs> no missing teeth. Since I hail from Butte County, that's that's quite a rarity. Rarity. Good breeding stock. We're a meth capital, and we pride ourselves on our high quality methamphetamine. A lack of dental hygiene. Oh, but do I look down in here. I'm looking down in what, here. What should I look at? This larger ice cream cone looking one. Let me get a flashlight. That looks like an ice cream cone, doesn't it? Kinda. Anyway, this ice cream cone looking thing doesn't have any missing teeth either. Okay. How many times am I gonna say it? Oh, okay. I, All I right. hate that. I hate All that right. I do that. Back up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> just, just saying. Because you don't know what you're doing. This I is know. completely aimless. I don't understand what we're doing in We mean anyway. aimless. I'm looking for damage. Oh, okay. I'm assessing. This is super entertaining. You know, maybe if you take your top off. I know. I know. It's not gonna happen. Nope. Found another piece. Mosquito in my ear. We found another piece. Yeah, the of the what I am a hundred percent certain now is a thrust washer. You're a thrust washer. Well, good. That means that the magnetic plug thing helped because oh, that's yeah. all where it is, right? Oh, yeah, duh. <laughs> feel pretty good about everything inside. Okay? I've inspected all the teeth. I have I have all the bits from the uh, thrust Dude, washer. They keep, they keep going in my ears. What, the bugs? Yes. Do you like it in the ear? No, I don't. <laughs> no. Who does? I've reassembled the thrust washer. Dude, you know what I should do? Do we have a scale, like a very fine-tuned scale? My cooking scale, maybe? Could you go get that real fast? Hi, women. What? I'm just saying. You, it should be one and. There's probably just one woman watching this. Oh, there's a cook. All right, it's what me. I've done here, put this at zero. All right, that's almost there. Okay, it's a little... I think that my kitchen scale would be a little bit better. <laughs> what is so funny? I don't know. Okay, it's just, almost at zero. I feel like you're struggling hard. Behold, it's my not scale. It's zero, it's above zero. It's just, it's barely. Yeah. Greta, please, yeah. we're doing science. Could you get out of here for a minute? Don't get that close to it, honey. Yeah, I want to show them how it's not at zero. So the next one we measure. Okay, so this thrust washer. What does that mean, the next one we measure? Well, I'm gonna measure the pieces of this one, that one. And if they're the same. <gasps> do you get it? Wow, oh, that really isn't even close, is it? Oh, man. You know what that means? There's other pieces buried in there. Might be other bits in here. You're gonna need to probably take the whole thing apart and flush it all out. I'm not sure that's what it means. A magnet. I can put a magnet in here. Hold on. Hold on, honey. Okay, one thing I didn't check. As if these are magnetic. Yeah, it is, okay. Does it turn you on how I'm doing science like that? No. Not the slightest? Oh. I don't want to take this thing apart any further. Hey, wait, I'm already honey. taxing the hey, honey. limitations of my abilities here. Hey, honey. What? Did you make sure that you weighed the one that was similar in size to the one that came from that one? Or yeah. did you weigh the new one? No, I weighed the old one. Okay. Let's old ones me. are a bit thicker. What if the other bits just disintegrated? Could it come out in the oil? Did you check your oil bucket? This isn't an exact. Stop it, put it down. Well, I have to put this it in This isn't a good shot. You can see your face and you're scrunched up like, this isn't working. <laughs> the confusion face? Yeah. You should put it through a uh, sieve. You're a sieve. I'm not sieving anything. Is there any way it went down this way? Yeah, that's exactly where it went. Well, then why don't you tip it upside down? Well, because it'll get nasty crap everywhere, honey. You might have to take the whole thing apart. Oh, man. That's what Grandpa said. He said you should take the whole thing out and flush it. Well, it's... I checked, though. I looked at the stuff. Yeah, but there could be a piece in there that'll get in there later and jack it all up. I don't think so. And then it's you're... a pretty small piece if it's there's a piece in here. I'm not taking this apart. He's going to quit. No, I'm not quitting either. He wants to... Distract you guys and do something else. No, I'm gonna pull the. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm not distracting, but I'm checking other stuff. Let's get the rubber things out, so I can make sure those are okay. Golly. Okay, 
those definitely are gonna have to come out now because I, I just damaged it really bad. How do you get these out then? Are you supposed to take them out? Yeah, because I have replacements for them. <clears throat> just let me finish. Just let me finish. <laughs> it's taking you so long to finish though. <laughs> I don't know. Piece by piece, honey. Oh gosh, dude. If I just jack just... this axle up, honey. All right. I think that's part of the... Did you just break this whole thing? No, shut up. No. You did, didn't you? It's part of the bush bushing. Didn't we spend $500 on these axles? Yeah. So the piece I just destroyed, that's part of the bearing. Er, uh, it's part of the uh, gasket. And people are going to be like, well, what does this have to do with... It doesn't. You're distracting them with more failure. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did my wizardry get in the way of your gasket? So that's how you get the gaskets out. You force it. And what was the point of that? I gotta put new ones in. Okay. So we're not working on the missing pieces of metal. Well. We're doing something else. I'm looking at something real quick. Oh, maybe it's down this leg thing. Get the light. Shine it down the Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Looks like a sewage system, you know? Sure, I'm glad I painted this axle up real good. It's really coming in handy. Rachel has used her, her woman tools, this kitchen scale, to help us get an accurate reading here. Let's do grams. Ready? Uh -huh. 12 grams. 13 grams. What the hell was that? Stop moving. When you put your weight down or when it drops, just stop. I just want it all in one place. So you're two grams shy. Two grams shy. That, that That's microscopic. Mm. Well, if you were to do percentages, I think two out of 13 is a bit more than... You Don't you use your maths on me, woman. These are only six grams. What the hell? Why are these slimmer? George sent me these gears in case mine were jacked up. I think what George was anticipating was that I would need maybe all of these bits. So he sent me a couple extra things just in case. So somewhere in here is one gram of metal. Two grams. Yeah, two grams. Look at this though. What? I wonder if that's an okay amount of play. What do you think? Wrong way nation? Most of you wizards, I listen to your opinion. I'm in this mess in the first place because of you guys. <coughs> what? What's yeah. that? And, I had about, and you're ruining your shirt. I had five bowls of Captain Crunch before no, you we didn't. did this. Five bowls? Really? I did have five bowls. You're not allowed to eat dinner. I am a, a piece of shit. Uh, <laughs> I eat because I'm sad. <laughs> All right, let's and get I'm the other. I'm sad because I'm eat. And I'm fat. <laughs> and I'm, I'm sad because I'm fat. <laughs> Yay! Oh, yeah, okay. Yay! I'm getting a bit better. I'm getting better at the seals. <laughs> Yay! Do you know what? Australians call Bigfoot. <laughs> Not Sasquatch? Yowie. Yowie? Yeah. Because Yowie is pretty close to the Hebrew term for God, Yahweh. There's some pitting on this bushing surface. Does this bearing just slide out? It doesn't look like that just slides out, does it? Okay, I'm not gonna mess with that. So I'm wondering if that one gram piece is gonna jack up my entire... Two. Two gram. Two gram. I'm gonna narrow, I'm gonna round down. No. I'm a round down kind of guy. Obviously you're not right, right next. Because he cares more about the looks than the substance. You know what? If you care about the looks, like the bezel, for instance, it shows that you care about what's inside as well. It's that attention to detail that people rely on for me. Me. <laughs> it's like I was having a stroke here. <laughs> lock right lockers. What do you guys think? I kind of want to put a locker in here. No. No. I'm not asking uh, your opinion. I'm guessing it's expensive. No, it's not. It's not that expensive. An ARB air locker is very expensive, and I cannot afford that. But what I can afford is a cheap alternative. <laughs> so uh, let me know. So still like $700? No, just like, not like 200 bucks. Grand. I don't know. You just bought a new tool on Saturday. You know what? The water pump, the water pump repair on the truck would have been $900. I spent $116 on a water pump. 
and one hundred and eighty dollars on tools. My to use to fix it. My mom's husband said you didn't need a tool to buy for that. He's Scott, a, there's a code. He's man, a, he's a you mechanic. Just, <laughs> you just. <laughs> You just, <laughs> you, you breached the code, Scott. You're not supposed to ever <laughs> tell somebody that. Damn. I'm sure he's mistaken, honey. Shine this up. <laughs> I don't want to pull this apart yet. I so think I'm, you're going to have to. Why don't you just Well, let me it. see what you guys think. 11 grams two, versus 13 grams. Two grams. Two grams seven. of metal bits, flakes, are just floating around in here. Might be. These teeth had no problem chewing up 11 grams. I bet you two grams, they'll just turn that to dust and keep on going. Why don't you just flush the system, like pump a whole bunch of water through there? No, they say to pump diesel fuel through here. That then might be a good that. episode. Pump it through and dump it. How do you, how do pump, you pump it, it through? and dump stupid? it. How do you just pump diesel through an axle? I don't know. I don't have a hose. I would it. say you put the lid back on. It's not a lid, honey. It's a diff cover. You put the... Diff cover. The pumpkin hat. <laughs> Pumpkin's hat? You're a pumpkin hat. Close up that hole. <laughs> and close up that hole. Okay. Hold and on. And then push that in there. I know we've been Shake talking. Shake it around and then tip it and Stop. drain it. I'm done with your, your brains right now. I don't need your brains. What I need is your looks. I look like a fatty. My love handles are coming out of my mom jeans. Hey, guys. Comment on how sexy my wife is. How about you shut up? I know we're working. What are you laughing about, stupid? Gosh. Sometimes you like. I mean, no one's gonna work. respect me. You, you just don't... make a funny face sometime when you're waiting for me to pan okay. to the right place. Here we go. I bought the brake rotors. Like I said already, I'm gonna have a parts list on everything needed to buy to convert to disc. Good luck with that. I'm not doing it yet though, because he's I'm, not paying attention. Well, no, I'm not gonna. I'm just not gonna do the. I'm not gonna do that yet. But the rotors that you do get, which I will explain the ones you need to buy in a, in a future episode, but the rotors need to be opened up 4.20 inches. My grandpa, Jerry. Now, Jerry is an old classic car enthusiast who lives in a town close by. He's also a former race car driver. Former race car driver. He's built lots of vehicles. Has some unkind things to say about Land Cruisers. Does he really? He just, he doesn't like burr fields. He thinks they're garbage. Jerry uh, got in touch with one of his awesome friends who essentially has a machine shop in his garage. I went to a couple local places to try to get this done, and none of them would do it for me. Jerry's friend got the job done for me, so I am forever in his debt. Ron. Ron did it for me. Ron, thank you from all of us here at Project Wrong Way. The reason you need to open them up 4.20 inches. Oh, that's so clean. It's right there. For the disc rotor to fit onto the axle, it needs to be bored out to 4.20 inches. That's one step closer to getting the disc brakes done. Answer me some questions about the locker. I want to put a rear locker in. I can't afford an ARB air locker. I kind of feel like the lock right locker might be the option for me. Um, next episode, we're either going to be pulling the differential out or doing a thorough rinse. Either way, it's time to start putting this back together and getting it underneath my Land Cruiser. Summer's almost here. You know? Why am I breathing hard? Honey? I don't know. Are you excited or something? I'm always excited. It looks like there's blood on the wall behind you. Yeah. If you don't like it, stay out of the kitchen. What? Nothing. Might need to get another brake caliper. Uh, what'd you do to it, honey? Well, I got a little aggressive with the sandblaster. Oh, really? And uh, this rubber seal right here, can you see that? See it? Yeah, I see it. Yeah, I... Uh, you jacked it up. I jacked it up. You can't just get a new rubber seal? I don't know. I I'm, I'm gonna look into it. So I'll, I'll put up, in an episode, I'll put up what rotors to get and then how much they need to be drilled out. You can also purchase those. There's, I know there's guys that sell that as well, but I was trying to see what you would do if you couldn't just get them and you had to take them somewhere. So find some random guy with a Find an machine. old man with a machine shop and they can work their wizardry. I'm feeling pretty good. We discovered a lot. We learned a ton. <laughs> I didn't know half of this shit when I started. Uh, and I know we know even less. less. Yeah. I think the locker goes right into here. I don't know what a locker is. I think it goes right here. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking good. 
I don't know what you're talking about. I don't need talking to say about anything. your body. I don't need to say anything. I just want to bite into you like a gummy bear. You're so weird. Tear off a piece. Swallow it. So to recap. Uh, <laughs> nothing happened? Uh, not nothing happened. I have two grams of material somewhere in the axle. I pulled out the rubber seals at the end and I'm going to replace those. I don't want to put the replacements in yet because I kind of need to rinse out the differential or something. I need to do something with it. Man, it's going to be so much diesel fuel and it's going to wash the paint off. Ugh. Is there another option besides, besides diesel fuel, you guys? Comment below. I love your comments, by the way. Um, I'm grateful to the fans and your wives. I've been creeping on a lot of your guys' Facebook pages. You got some beautiful wives you're married to. You're lucky men. Women, you're lucky. I'm getting weird. Is you're that like, weird? You're going weird? I don't know. I'm not offended. I don't know what I'm trying to say. You here. just said you creeped on other people's wives. No, I creep on their Facebook pages and I look at their hot wives and I'm like, good that, for you. That's still sounding creepy. No, it's not creepy. It's like, hey man. Like if I were, Attaboy. If you're I were sitting next to him, I'd be like, hey, good, good for you. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. They say the same thing to me about you. Heavy eye roll. Heavy smash. All right, we're Probably done. cut that part out. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> we're done. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Check me out on Instagram at One Project Wrong Way. Send your thoughts and opinions to me via the comment section. And uh, yeah, see you next time.